really have a problem if I start to bake for a boy. It's, I don't know what it is with me. If I don't bake for you, I don't like you. I'm not talking about like a birthday or something, but if it's just for fun or if it's for like Valentine's Day, we have a problem. We did get a package. We got a package and if it's what I think it is, then it came just in time for our date tonight. Oh, oh, these are sexy. These are from Dolce Vita. I obviously have to try my own final product, of course. Like literally, these are the best cookies ever. Best cookies ever. Also, I put ice in my milk. You know, I like my milk real cold. This is my pregame right here. This is what I need. It's a little crazy today. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm in a mood. I feel like I'm having good skin day, a good hair day. My cookies came out perfectly. Like what? I have an outfit already picked out. I love Valentine's Day. I have plans on Valentine's Day. Feeling good, what can I say? I just did my everyday makeup routine and I was talking to you guys about how I can't live without my Charlotte Tilbury concealer and then I lost it. So, we're working with the pixie today until I can make a trip to Sephora. This might just be the sugar talking, I don't know. But I'm feeling like spilling tea right now. <laughs> I'm feeling like acting up and acting a little bit crazy, okay? I don't want to spill tea about this current situation because, it, you know, it's current. So, I'm thinking we need to talk about some past situations. <laughs> There are some things I didn't go into detail for because I feel like I was kind of saving them. I don't know for what. As more time passes, this stuff's becoming old news, at least to me. What am I waiting for? Before it becomes literally ancient history, which it already kind of feels like it. Let's talk about it. I feel like I've had kind of a crazy dating history and some stories. I don't know if I've talked about this, so tell me if it's ancient news. I don't know, but I know that I posted a TikTok about it. I just don't know if I went into full detail. I have had two instances on two first dates where a guy whipped out a guitar and started playing and singing for me. I don't know what it is about me that a guy just wants to like, you know, give out a few vocals and serenade me. But there's this one guy, oh, I don't even remember his name, honestly. I met him on Hinge. I really don't know what I was thinking. I think I was just like, you know, put yourself out there, whatever, give this guy a shot. I knew that he played guitar and sang because he sent me literally right before our date him playing and singing to Californication. Actually so good. I was like, oh, okay. We have a little American Idol on our hands. We go on the date. It's not really going that well just because I feel like I'm literally interviewing the guy. He's not asking me any questions about myself. I'm even like laying up questions for him to ask back to me just to like a simple what about you? No, never heard that. Anyways, we end up getting ice cream and going to his apartment. First mistake. I will never, ever, ever do that again. Okay, I tell my friends too. I'm like, don't go over his place on a first date. Like, just don't. He could kill you. It could happen. Learn from my mistakes, children. Don't do that. Not saying anything bad happened, but something bad could have happened. And that scares me. We're hanging out eat an ice cream and I like you know complimented his Californication cover like you know it's good and he's like you want me to play something for you what do you do in that situation like if you say no I didn't want to sound like a dick if I say no I sound like a dick so I was like sure like yeah I'll, I'll hear something mind you first date from hinge whips out his guitar and starts playing sparks Foo starts playing sparks and staring at my eyes. This would have been beautiful if it was a guy that I was dating for like a few months and we like really got to know each other and like there were sparks. But this man doesn't even know my last name. This man doesn't even ask me any questions about myself. Why are you singing sparks to me, sir? Make it make sense. Good move. Doesn't really make sense here though. He plays not one song. Not two songs, six or seven songs. I will say, once he starts playing some Jack Johnson, that was that was fun. Some banana pancakes, that was fun. <laughs> I could get down with some banana pancakes, just saying. First date, last date, cool. I was just gonna talk about the next guy that serenaded me, but now I'm exposing myself that I went over another guy's apartment on a first date. But this one I knew. 
mutuals one mutual kind of but we both did like social media so it wasn't like, like i knew he was real still could have killed me i will say he did this in a better way where it was just like more casual i was telling him how i had just gone to the usher concert and how great it was and how much i love usher still true his halftime performance let it burn usher on roller skates i just i'm gonna leave it there so he's like i'll play you an usher song again who am i to say no one i would be a dick to say no two you want to play me an usher song yeah 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 yes okay he was good but he was a little bit more playful with it which i liked like it wasn't like he was trying to show off or whatever he was like sing along with me blah blah, blah. Was, that was cute but the whole time i was just like again this is crazy to happen to me one time to happen two times within a few months of each other no one has serenaded me since but we have had a few interesting people in the mix with the guys that i have gone on dates with i could put on a show i could i could put on a good show okay we have like two guitar player singers we have a magician a man did card tricks for me on the first date you know what he was good did the tricks you know do anything for me no i was just like i feel like i should give you like a tip but i don't want you know like i don't i went on a date with a comedian that was an interesting one the comedian is a whole other story my friends are going to die that i'm actually saying this right now and i am too we don't name names here just because i feel like name dropping is doesn't make me feel good i'm just gonna say this because i feel like this other guy has been like talked about a lot recently about dating a lot of girls it's not matt rife but in the same area okay anyways man takes me to a nice ass restaurant he took me to fia steak i was like oh my god wait i love steak i'm so excited to come here i didn't even order steak i ordered pork chops which confused the hell out of him he was like i thought you liked steak and i was like i am f full of surprises yeah this date went well <laughs> it actually did go well because we were at dinner for like two hours just talking i mean man is good at his job he's funny we're chit chatting we're sharing food it's cute bill comes he pays amazing 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 work he's gonna go drop me off at my friend's house because i uber there from my friends so i'm like just go drop me off at my car we get in the car and he's like i'm so sorry i'm gonna drop you off right now because i forgot that i have a set in like 20 minutes a set you don't say i've never been to a comedy show before i said he's like yeah i, to I actually I totally forgot about it i said last minute that i would just like stop by and do like a 15 minute set he's like you know you can come with me if you want who am i to say no of course if i've never been to a comedy show before duh we're on a date and you're like okay i'm gonna go do a set i get to watch you live like hello like go babe love you oh my god i'm so proud you're amazing i gotta walk through where like the comedians are and sit up top and watch his set and the best part was is that he was actually good i had seen his clips before obviously but like not a full set man had the crowd rumbling had the crowd knee slapping the whole time he did great I'm so proud of him. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. We left. It was funny because he asked me afterwards, like, okay, like, what did you think? And I was like, it was just like TikTok, just longer. It's exactly like the clips that I see on TikTok, just like 15 minutes of it. I loved it. But anyways, that was the day. It was good. The only thing was, and I don't want to, you know, I'm not putting the man down for this, but he kind of things went downhill after one question. He asked me if I looked different without makeup on. A. it's a question it just wasn't it didn't i didn't like you know nothing against him because guys say stuff and like maybe you weren't thinking too much before you said it that's fine i literally was like i'm not even wearing that much makeup <laughs> which i kind of do wear a lot of makeup define a lot i don't know but like like yeah i look different but what's your different and my different because my difference like okay yeah my cheeks don't go like this and like i don't have natural gold glitter on my eyelids my cheekbones are not carved out like this you know but they're still cute what do you think 
is gonna happen when this comes off. I mean, he's probably seen some crazy shit. If he's asking me that, you know, maybe I shouldn't ask him any questions. <laughs> maybe man has been through some things and that's his own, that's his own drama. But that was the comedian. Fun one, for sure. One time I dated one of my best friends, boyfriend's roommate. Don't do that either. Unless it's like really destined in the stars and like could really happen for you. Perfect scenario great scenario you might not see your friends for a little bit of time you know and like you'll see the friends things will be different and that's just like with any situation i guess you're always kind of like putting up that uh, risk when you're dating people that like you hang out with like things are just gonna be different after i risked it for the biscuit and things change and then it was kind of sad then it was sad let's see i have made a man banana bread oh my gosh with chocolate chips i made pizza with one of them that was that was different. That was me switching it up. I made a man cinnamon rolls. Oh my god. I made him homemade cinnamon rolls. I was kneeing that dough. And for what? For what? Like, why did I... That was like our second to last date. You know, now that I think of it, I probably scared him off. Like, I was like, I am a wife. Honestly, I haven't made cinnamon rolls again since because that shit's hard and if i do it again that man is my husband okay or my children like four lifers only four lifers are getting cinnamon rolls like natty i'll make you cinnamon rolls anytime any day okay cookies are easy cookies are actually arguably the easiest so that's why we have to start out with cookies okay i think i'm learning my lesson about damn time okay there's like levels that they need to work up to homemade cookies oven for 12 minutes done next i would say is banana bread yeah i think so banana bread and then like a cupcake or like a one tier cake situation one tier Maybe two. Then maybe a cheesecake. Then cinnamon rolls. Okay. Then we can work our way up. The steps and the prep and everything matter. It like symbolizes how much time and effort you're willing to like put in for them and how much they appreciate it. You know what I mean? There's like a whole science behind it. I don't know. I don't know. Our light is dying on us, which means <sighs> we need to go. Okay, I had a vision for this outfit because of the shoes, but I haven't fully tried it on yet. So this is the real test. Oh, also the real test for these shoes. These are sexy. Oh my god, wait. A little cardigan on, you know, to keep warm. Kind of. Let's do a full... What do we think? I got some new lip products actually so let's try to do something a little bit different maybe boxy brown lip liner and then this gloss this is fenty heat and chocolate the tower 28 maybe it's almost time ladies it's almost time how do we look how do we feel i love filming get ready things for dates because i feel like these are videos that i'm gonna look back on like when i have a boyfriend that I'm gonna cherish these times that we shared together. Obviously, I'll still film Get Ready With Me's all the time for dates too, but it's fun right now that you guys have like no idea who I'm going on a date with. It's like a little secret. We're going through the process together, but um, fingers crossed. I'm gonna pack up my cookies and then I think it'll be time.